Hi, I'm Krista Smith. Welcome to the Toronto International Film Festival. Goo goo, I can't even pretend. Just matha. Mbata. Mbata. Mbata Roa. Roa. Right. Goo goo, Mbata <laughs> Roa. A Vanity's girl of mine uh, a few years ago. Mm. So I was happy to see you um, on the big screen in this film. And also Tom Wilkinson, who we love, who doesn't love uh, Tom. He's one of the hardest working actors. I think you and Benedict Cumberbatch are possibly the two hardest working Brits. You think? I do. <laughs> all right. No? Do you not think so? You don't agree? Well, I haven't done anything much this year, but all right. We can all right. do you, a bit. Okay. <laughs> and they are here with Belle, uh, based on a real life person. Yeah. Uh, although the screenplay was more, um, it was based on real events, but there's more leeway, creative leeway, I guess. And exactly. Well, it was inspired by a painting. Um, which uh, originally hung at Kenwood House in London um, that Damien Jones, the producer, came across at an exhibition several years ago. I was very intrigued by this dynamic between these two girls, um, the character I play, Dido, and her cousin, uh, Elizabeth Murray. Uh, so that was kind of the starting point for the whole story, and that's when um, Emma got into the research of, of finding out about who this woman mm -hmm. really was. And basically, you are the illegitimate child of mm -hmm. a, a Royal Navy Admiral. And we're, yes. we're kind of vaguely introduced to him in the beginning, right? Yeah, played by play. Matthew Good. And as a young girl, you go and live with your great uncle, mm -hmm. who is very, uh, what's the right word for it, and very held in high regard in society. He's the, well, he's the Lord Chief he's Justice the Lord of Chief England. Justice. Yes. Which is the top legal eagle. Yeah. Of that time, and still, still mm. is a Lord Chief Justice. Right, mm. which is a huge, um, a huge position mm. and responsibility yeah. and for the family and to take in a mulatto, and I say that <laughs> word because that's the word that they use in the film. Uh, so for, for you, Tom, what was, what was it about him and this story that made you want to play the part? Well, I, I've said before, and I'm going to say it again, I just love the detail in which all the kind of mm -hmm. social mores of the time were mm -hmm sketched in, in, in the way that they very rarely are. You tend to think, in, when you look at a, 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 a period costume drama, that people were, you know, just like us, only they wore different clothes mm -hmm. and went around on horses. And that's just not true. This was a, a society that had rules that mm. governed everything. I mean, this, for example, I mean, one of the things they deal with is money. When a woman, if a woman had money and she married, the husband automatically got the money. Mm. She lost control over her money. There was those sorts of rules were in place. And the way in which, you know, I'm a, a Santo, the director, writer, director, has sort of really put meticulously, mm -hmm. uh, you know, included all these sort mm -hmm. of social constraints in the movie, mm. makes it unique in my yeah. view and, and fascinating. How is it for you working with, with Tom? <laughs> It was a pleasure, wasn't it? An a mitigated pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a lovely time. It really was. It was really, and, and the whole cast, such a wonderful British cast, mm -hmm. and um, really lovely to develop the father daughter. Well, I mean, even though you play my great uncle, you know, it's definitely the father figure, and, and, and that interesting relationship and that dynamic, which is. Um, yeah, a, lo a lovely kind of relationship mm -hmm. in the whole story and how, how um, Dido sort of earns his respect mm -hmm. and, and challenges him and grows to, to womanhood. Mm -hmm. It's good, mm -hmm. it's good. Well, thank you guys for coming in and talking about it. It's great to meet you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, always, always love what you do.